working? Are we getting any audio through? Can, can you hear me? Do you have any audio at all? Because I'm not sure it's working all right. At all? Uh, it seems to be working. Yeah, uh, so just let me know if you can hear me all right. Oh, come on. Can that thing please just get out of the way? This is, I've been trying to set this up so that, how do I hide this thing? <laughs> can I hide this thing? Uh, oh, there we go. No, wait. Wait a minute. We do it like that. Yeah, okay. And if I sit over here, y'all should be able to see me. So this was not easy. Hello, everyone. Hello, and welcome to Jokobak Live. This was not easy to set up. And the reason to why I'm streaming on mobile uh, today is simply because I just... There is no way that I can be running this old computer um, with the magic music visuals. And you're gonna see that as we move on and as I build the, uh, something more complex here. As soon as we got some graphics going on, th the fan on the MacBook down here is just gonna, it's gonna really, really rev up and it's not gonna stop revving um, until either the, computer dies or until we end the stream. So I just went out and got me some uh, some hot water. This ain't hot water, but uh, this is hot water. So oh, that's so annoying that this thing is in a way. It's really nice to see all of you. And yes, today, Jakob Hack Live is, well, not today. Actually, it was two weeks ago and I, and I forgot about it. But it Actually, two weeks ago, this channel turned a year old, and already there's 48 videos here on this channel. And I'm so thankful for all the meetings we've had. Meetings? I'm thankful for every time that you've shown up uh, and had a chat with me during this stream. And yeah, I'm, I'm just really happy to see all the, the same names over and over again. I can see that, as usual, my mom and my dad is lurking around of course so hey guys i hope you're doing okay and also today i released um, my unison video video now this one is something that i've been working on for like it's almost it's almost a month so i came multimedia basically contacted me say hey we make a new synth do you want new synth and this was last year around summer and I'm like, oh, this is gonna be cool. Uh, it's gonna be a pro synth, it's gonna be full synth, it's gonna have three oscillators, it's, it, we're gonna make two versions, which one do you want? I wanted the small one, so they sent it. And a, a month ago I got it basically, and my, oh my, oh my, that thing, as soon as I turned it on and tried out some of the patches, I started working on that track, and then I made the track, I made a video for that track. The track itself took me about three days to produce, but the whole video I made took a little over a week. And I was mostly sitting here with magic music visuals on this old computer from 2013 and working on it. So I can say that out of all the work I did, that one took the longest. And then I started working on the video that I published today. Uh, of me actually making the track. I wanted this to be like this huge project where I take a synth, just one synth, take all the sounds from the synth, make a song, add some some awesome sounding, very repetitive lyrics, and it's quite fun. Have you uh, have you have you visited my Bandcamp yet? Because you should. I I actually typed out all the lyrics for the for the track on my Bandcamp. And it looks so silly, so stupid, because it's basically the same fucking thing over and over and over and over again. It's just me saying, let's go, and are you ready for this? Uh, and I'm the one. Yeah, it's 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 really, really funny. I can see Jade Star in the, in the stream. Jade Star streams every day. You're mad. You're absolutely crazy. You're absolutely crazy. Every day. Amazing that you're able to keep it up. Uh, and I hope you're taking care of yourself because I know how quickly this job can get very taxing on your health and on your mental state. 
and that's probably something I'll talk about sometime during a stream. I don't think it will fit my main channel, really, but a live stream like this where we can all talk about our mental issues. Um, I'm not saying that you have mental issues, but I've had them, plenty of them. Oh my God. Mm. Wow, this is where I smile. Look into the camera, I smile, and I look really not bothered by the fact that I just burnt my tongue to shit and I won't be able to taste anything for the next coming week. Oh my God, that was hot. Why did I do that? Where's the cold water? Um, oh. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say, guys. I think my, um, I think I effed my tongue pretty bad. Ouch. Okay, so. Magic Music Visuals. Have anyone in here ever seen this software before? Basically, it's like this window. Uh, you have um, this black screen right here is where we're going to start seeing some graphics. And over here, we have the output, the main output. It's basically a block. And I know that we're doing this in mono because of my phone, and we're also doing it. I, I don't think you can see it properly. Can I get this thing to zoom in? Yeah, okay. I burnt it at 20, 20, 2.30, Leo. I burnt it with my tea. Yeah, I burned it with my tea. Um, I know that it's not really in focus everything. I know that it's a bit messy, but I will explain everything going on here and I will tell you, you know what? I'm gonna get this thing off my hand. All right, okay. Okay, okay, all right. Uh, so what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna introduce you to some music. And I don't know if you've heard any of this music before. So basically what we have down here is a file player and an input uh, output um, routing system basically. And so this is where I put all of my audio. So when I've made a track and I know I wanna do some um, some graphics for it, then I simply just break up the track in stems, okay? That means for anyone uninitiated in this audio talk, if you're new, stems just basically means that if you have a track, uh, then you have you have drums, you have bass, you have lead, you have all of that stuff. And so when you make stems, you're taking each one of those elements and exporting them as their own thing. And in my case, when I'm working with audio visuals like this, I need to have um, 16 times the detail. Sorry, that's a quote from a Bethesda thing because I'm a gamer and I do shitty memes. Not really funny. Uh, what I need is I need the bass drum to be on its own. I need the 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 um, the snare drum isolated. Maybe I want the hi-hat isolated. So that's what I've done here. I've done a track uh, and this track has basically been made with sounds only from figure. Um, and if I play it for you real quick here, you let me you let me know if it's too loud. All right, you just just tell me. Is that good? Does that work for you? So basically just using sounds from figure and um, it's silent. You can't hear it. Can you, can you hear it or not? Or is it too, too, too low? No music. Okay. So we need to solve that thing first. That is weird. Why aren't you hearing that? Okay. Okay. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I get it. I can't hear it. <laughs> and I'm sitting here just chugging along. That's weird. Why can't you guys hear that shit? So you can hear me, but you can't... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a blinking minute. Okay. Ooh. This is a bit shit. Let me... Okay, let me check one thing. Can you hear this? Are, 
Are you hearing that? Like, did you hear that? Because I have a suspicion. Okay, so you don't, you don't hear this. Okay, yeah, we need to figure this out first. Why aren't you hearing that? Wait a minute. Let me let me just check here. So I'm using this cable, and that cable goes over there. And what the? How long is this cable? What what's going on here? Did I did I grab the wrong one? Why do I have a big toilet roll here? Okay, so that's going in there, and this is so weird. We should be getting audio from this thing. Why aren't we getting audio from this thing? And it's outputting through there. I'm just gonna check the uh, drivers here. It's putting it out through the USB audio codec, and I am sending it. Hi, Rustic, and hi, everyone. Um, joining up i'm trying to figure out why y'all can't hear this this is so weird but that is the right cable okay let's see if you can hear this can you hear that the the ipad volume is definitely up jade but this is this ain't an ipad this is uh, the um this is a macbook the audio is definitely on and I'm getting audio in, but it's not going out to you. And you're not hearing any weird scratching noise when I do this. Okay, so are you, are you definitely hearing the mic? Are you hearing this? You hear that, okay. Because if you're hearing the mic, the, the, it's important if you're hearing this microphone, this scratching right now. Because if you're hearing that, that means that my mic is working through this sound card, but the input on the sound card is not working. Can't hear it when you tap. No scratching. Then it has to be, can you hear this? Or maybe here, can you hear this? I'm thinking that maybe the sound card isn't connected to the iPhone. There we go. No, okay, so guys, listen up. The way that I've set it up, I'm filming it, recording the video, or not, I'm sending the video live from my iPhone, meaning the sound card has to be connected to the iPhone. And it seems like the iPhone is not picking up on on the sound card that I've selected, which is a problem. So I have to figure that out. How do I do that? Let, let's just try to connect it. Let's try to reconnect it. This should work. I don't understand why it's not working. Oh, come on. I need to think, I need to think. This worked before, this worked before, and now it's not working. So basically I have the sound card connected to a USB hub. The USB hub is connected to an adapter and the adapter is connected to the iPhone. And I noticed that this iRig stream wasn't lighting up and I think that's the issue here. I'm gonna try to connect and reconnect and we'll see if it works. Does that work? Is it working now? Are you getting it? I'm, I'm playing music now. Is the volume good? loud so 
So you can do a lot with figure apparently. So I've cheated of course because I took all of the sounds from figure, put it into AUM and then made a session with it. And I can actually show you the session real quick in this little window here. You see, there are a multitude of plugins in this program. And you have, if you, like what I did right now is right click or right tap, whatever you call it. I'm a PC user originally. So if I right click and I put add here, then you can't see it properly, but it says color, effects, geometry, layers, media, special transform. And if we go into the, um, uh, thank you, Dean. If we go into the media one, then we can actually go here and look, we got image, JPEG folder, video capture, um, which means I could basically, if I put video capture block in here and turn it over to the face camera, then I can use the camera here to film myself inside this scene, for instance. Th there's so much you can do with a program like this. I wish we had something as powerful as this on iOS, but there aren't, trust me, I've checked. Nothing quite at this level. And I, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe iOS wouldn't be able to handle the load. I'm thinking it could now with the M1s, we could definitely get something like this on there. So what I'm gonna do is take video file and we get this little thing. So basically, oh, I messed that up now. Basically, we have our video file block here. And in here, we can now load something. And I can load you the actual project where I made this track uh, sound as it does. If we go to, um, let's see here. We go to uh, Magic Music Visuals folder. And we close this. Oh, God, I hate this. Uh, Hacker Jack full track mp4 there we go i know it's small right now and i do it with small windows for a specific purpose so this is the actual uh, thing here and i screen recorded it from my ipad and now we can use this we can use this in our scene and uh, i think we are i think we are going to do that but what we're going to do first is we're going to flip this a little bit so what I'm doing is here, you can see that this is connected from the output of this video block here, running the video, which we can, by the way, I'm just gonna check a box down here. Let's see, looping, yeah. So right down here, uh, you have a box for looping, and when you have that pressed in, the video's just gonna loop and loop and loop and loop, all right? So it, if I remove this thing, we can't see it anymore, okay? And that's how you connect stuff, you just grab, a node like this and just connect it out to the output and you're done and when you do that you get another output right here so you can have a load of outputs and you can do this in a way where this is called a scene right now um, and it's and a project can contain several scenes so you can basically make one scene and then open up another scene and make another scene and then have a switch with a MIDI controller where you switch between these. Uh, Magic Music Visuals can read MIDI files and all kinds of stuff. It's super, super awesome. So now that we have our output connected, what we're going to do is to right click right here. And when we do that, we can insert something here. And what we're going to insert is something called a tr transform. So inside the transform layer, when you're dealing with transform, you're dealing with space and placement in space, basically. So you can flip stuff around uh, uh, in 3D space like this. And that's what I did with my video. If you watch my music video, you can see that I'm doing this this whole scene that looks like a, like a retro wave, synth wave scene with a big sun, uh, with a bass kick pushing the sun forwards and you have these lines coming towards you and st stuff are moving and things. That whole scene is built just like this. So what I want to do is I want to rotate uh, an axis and I want to rotate this axis, the, the, um, the X axis, I think. So we're going to take rotate axis and right now it says Z axis in here. And if I start fiddling with this, you're going to see that it rotates it on a Z axis. Now, if I take the Y axis, it's going to rotate it the other way like that. All right. And then if we take X axis, we can rotate it like this. And if we do that, we have it. Okay. It's upside down like that. Now we have the scene. It's, it's pretty cool, right? It's pretty cool. 
So what we're going to do now is just close this down on here. Not close it, but we minimize it. Uh, no audio? Uh, wh what do you mean? You can't hear me talk because I'm not playing anything right now. Just kidding. Rustic, you're, you're a piece of... You're a, you're a piece of wonderful, wonderful cake. I, I love you so much, Rustic. Um, <laughs> I almost said something else. But if I ever do, if my tongue ever slip, I don't mean it. I'm not a mean person. Well, I, at least I don't try to be a mean person. God, I'm so nervous. I hope that you find this interesting. Okay, so now that we have this um, flipped like that, what I want to do is I want to move it down in space. And I love all of you. You know that. Even if I called you pieces of shit, shit I love you. I love all of you. <laughs> now, what we're going to do is we're going to move it. And like I said, when you want to move stuff and play stuff and flip stuff, you're working with translate. Um, sorry, you're working with transforms. So we're going to right click again on that line because we want to insert it. You don't have to do it like that. You can just right click right here and press add transform um, and then whatever block you want to put in there but we're gonna do it like this right on here because if we didn't if we just added the block we would then have to disconnect this thing and put it on there and then connect the output to the out, uh, output here to the input there now right click insert transform uh, <laughs> being a poop yes a po yes, <laughs> so what we want to do now is move it around just like this. And when we do that, we, we, we're going to choose something called translate. Now, here we have uh, the X axis, uh, X, Y, and Z. And if I do this, we can move it sideways like this. Uh, if we do if we do this, we can move it up and down. That's cool, right? And if we do this, we can move it back and forth. And this is a very cool block. So what we're going to do is move it like this forward, move it down. Uh, I'm going to put in a higher number. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to type 0 0.18 in here. You can really go. That's pretty nice. 0 0.17 maybe. Up a little bit. Oh, come on. 0 0.15. 15. Yeah. All right. Okay. So now that we have this thing looking like this, this looks pretty cool, but making maps for Quake, yeah, I've done that too back in the day. Maybe we, maybe we met Dean, maybe we played each other on there, and if we did, you probably hated my fucking guts because I was a piece of shit, and I would be rage quitting, I, would be, I wouldn't be hacking. I don't like hacking, but I would be rage quitting. I would be so salty if you won over me. It's insane. I, uh, God, I, w I, did, I do not like young Jacob. Young Jacob is a stupid, stupid idiot. With some very good parents, it's just that, it's just that the parenting did, didn't really take. You know, it didn't really take. They, they tried their best. They tried their best. Oh. Now that we've translated this, we're going to minimize the z-axis thing here. And here here we can do our first cool thing. So we have this beat, we have this music, right? So what if we wanted, for instance, we wanted this thing to be animated every time the bass drum hits? Well, we can do that. Let's say we want it to push forward when the bass drum kicks. Now we can do that with the translate here. And I know you can't see it, but here, right beside where you change the values, right there, there are icons. And here is where you automate stuff. And here is where you tell stuff to listen to certain elements. Now, the way that I've got the inputs set up here is that I've got several tracks. What we're listening to, I've soloed it right now because I don't want face problems here. Because basically here we have... Uh, the bass drum track, we have the snare drum track, the hi-hat track, the, ba the bass track, and I can even add another one. So I'll press add file and we'll add the lead right there. 
And if we listen to that one, it sounds like this. Uh, bring that back. Saturated, saturated, saturated. Um, and since we've added this, this means that we can use this, but not until we've actually added a source for it. And we do that up here. So up here, I'm going to press source. Uh, the software costs about $40 uh, for a uh, license for one computer. And it's the, the best $40 I've ever spent on a piece of graphical um, app. Uh, because simply because of how much use I can get out of it and I'm gonna start using this more now for all of my episodes just animating some of my voice you know uh, a little bit of a synth lead over here you don't have to do really awesome stuff with it you can just do simple stuff a black background and a white uh, spectrum analyzer it's super super helpful I've been using visible you know, for the longest of time, visible the app, and that have worked for me. But I wanted full control, and the only way I could get that was with Magic Music Visuals. Um, so yeah, about forty dollars for the full license. I don't know what it costs now, uh, because I bought this two years ago, right back when I was doing the um, Mellow album, and that's also how I made all the graphics for those uh, three latest videos I made for the Mellow album. They were all made with Magic Music Visuals, which is w what it's called. Right, so we've imported a file here, it's the uh, ARP, and we've added a source, but we have to actually sign it. So as you can see here, these are not filled in. So if we want to use the bass drum, we're going to go in here and select the bass drum file. And you have two channels to choose from. Uh, it basically reads one channel in mono. So you can either choose the left channel or the right one. They're called zero and one. So channel zero for the bass drum here. Snare, okay, right there, snare. Hi-hat, right here for hi-hat. Bass for bass. Is this an app or a plugin for the PC? It's for PC and Mac, so I'm using it on a Mac right now. And I wish, I wish, now that we have M1 iPads, I, I hope that maybe we can get something like this for, for, for iOS because it would be awesome. Base right here, and this source is not named, we're gonna call it ARP, and we're gonna choose the ARP. And now we, we're all set up. Now we can use all of these sources to, to modulate stuff in here. So I'm gonna keep the arpeggio soloed and I'm gonna keep the full track because I know I didn't export that with the arpeggio, but wait, did I? No. Wait, are they not synced, these two? <laughs> They're not synced, I think I... No, we're not gonna use the arp. I think I cut the audio wrong for that one because it's not in in in, in, in got the right timing. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the bass drum to make this video pop forward every time the bass ki uh, bass drum kicks. The bass kick hits. The b the bass drum the bass drum hits every time the bass drum hits. Let's see here. Uh, Audible Video says it costs 44.95 USDs. Thank you for checking that out, Audible Video. That's awesome. I highly recommend it. If you are using MacBook for anything, uh, or if you've got an old... I mean, this MacBook, MacBook Pro 13-inch from 2013, or 12 even, maybe. I think it might be that old. And you're gonna see how it gets slower but when you're rendering stuff it doesn't matter how slow it is you know because it's not gonna be doing it in full time rendering takes the time it's gonna take it's gonna take a long time it's gonna do it frame by frame and when you're doing that it's okay so yeah if you can work with a little bit of a laggy uh, graphics when you're using an older computer it's so worth it and if you're using a newer computer well then it doesn't really matter right so in order to make this pop, we're going to have to work with the uh, Z axis, okay? So this is the one. And right now, uh, if I'm placing this right here, now what we need to do first is to check out this number, 0 0.7. Because as soon as I press this, this thing is going to 
<laughs> it's listening to the microphone right now. <laughs> eh, 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 eh. Makes me think of um, that movie with P- Peter Sellers. It's an old one. I think he's, that's, he's, he's saying like birdie, birdie num num or something like that. Um, I think I saw that one was very, very, very young. It's a w- weird video and it's a bit racist if I'm, if, to be honest, actually. Let's see here. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the source because it's listening to the microphone right now. And we can change the source to BD. Now remember what I said. We had to, if I remove this again, 0.7. Okay, that's the number we want this thing to be at. So we press this. And we go here, and what we're going to do is we are going to put a, uh, let's see here, where is it? What is it called? Offset. We're going to offset the value right now. Because as you can see, as soon as we started using the modulation, it popped back, and it ignored the z-axis that we had put in there. So we put in offset 0.7 and it's back to where it was. Now if we play this, the movement isn't going to be smooth, but we're going to smooth it out with another plugin inside here. So I'm going to play this now. When the bass hits, It's too jerky for my taste, okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to add a smoothing block. So we add a modifier again, and we go in here and we look for smooth. And right there, we have smooth. Click that, and now we can increase the smoothness, and we can make it real smooth. Real smooth. Let's see here. We'll add the smoothness to 25, and you're going to see it. can pull down on the smoothness. All right, cool. Okay, so we have a moving graphic here with the video. We're making it uh, hit when the bass drum hits, when the bass hits. We should probably uh, import a fish into this, a bass fish. You want to do that? We want to do that? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so you can, y'all, y'all can't see what I'm doing right now, but I'm going to do it anyway. So if we go get our Google Chrome right here. I don't know why I'm talking like that. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Why am I talking like that? And we're going to go for this, like Bass Fish. Bass Fish, PNG, right there. Ong. It's not an Ong. We need the PNG. Come on, man. I, I, I wrote Ong again. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I lost the internet. Everything is broken. It's all over now. We're never coming back from this. Let's see here. We, we press tools. If you've never done this before, you search for pictures. You hit pictures, tools, and then go to color. And then you go to transparent. Uh, that's transparent in, uh, in, in Swedish. And then I know, I mean, right now, I could have searched for something that has the words uh, Creative Commons in it, but we're not going to do that now. I'm just going to use one of these. So which one is the bay, the, the bass? We need the proper bass here. Proper bass. I kind of like this one. Oh, yeah. That bass is awesome. Yeah, I like that bass, but it's only 512 pixels. I need something bigger, y'all. Come on, y'all. We need something bigger. P and key? This one? 800 pixels? Okay, that's a nice bass. So we're going to save this one. Uh, save image. Ghost American South. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hope you don't f- feel that I'm being racist or that I'm culturally appropriating your American culture. I don't mean to offend anyone. I just do voices all the time at home. Um, and I never do that in my videos like because I'm a coward. I'm afraid that I'm going to tick off people because... All these years on the internet has taught me one thing. People are so goddamn sensitive, you know, that it's insane. And if I say something 
weird in one of my videos, then maybe my whole channel gets cancelled because someone decides that I'm a racist. Ugh, I've had th things like that happen in real life where people have called me racist and then they realize that my dad's black. It's it's funny every time, you know. I, I, I take a little bit of enjoyment out of that. But still, it's just people are too sensitive, you know. Humor can't be... It's, you know, humor. Humor. Everyone knows humor, right? Yeah. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm too scared. Maybe maybe most of my viewers aren't. I mean, I think that my core viewers, people like yourself, I, I don't think you're too sensitive at all, actually. Uh, I, I think you you might even like a proper razzing, you know? Razzing? Is that even... Res, resin? Did, it, did I say resin or resin? So we're going to save this in the downloads. And we're going to go to the downloads right over... Where is it? Come on now. You find a window. We got to go over here. And now we're going to press this button right here. And we're going to go here. Fish transparent base. Base fish. There we go. All of that just to get one picture. I am... I'm a lord. Oh, lord. Let's see here. So if we um, try to add this now add media image and whoops uh, where is it downloads I can't find it hey where where did you go where's the fish where's the fish what the huh I thought of, no, I didn't put you in downloads. Everyone in chat is going, Jacob, you're an idiot. What are you doing? You put it there. Oh, look at that. We got the fish. Okay, so the fish is too big. The base is too strong. I can't handle it. The base is too strong. Now, let's see here. Insert, transform, and scale. Now, here's where we do some scaling. And we want the scale to not only affect the X or the Y. We want to we wanna get all of it. And we have a button for that or a, a box we can check right there. And now we can scale the base. And as you can see, the base, the bass, the base is going down. It's going down. It's disappearing behind our AUM session. So we're going to choose transform and translate. And then we're going to move the base up. Ooh, look at that. Base in all its glory. I love this. Praise the base, everyone. It's the base god. And we can make this one also pump the base. Let's do that. Let's make this this sucker pump the base. So the way we do that is basically we're, we're going to do the same thing as we did up here. We're going to press this thing. And... <laughs> Base, 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 it's the base, base, I'm sorry, mayonnaise, um, so what did we have here, we put it at 0 0.3 and we need to offset this, so we're going to do this, uh, add a little plug in here, say offset 0 0.3 right there, and there we go. Here we have our base fish. Yeah, everything is fine and dandy because we got our base fish right there. So what we're going to do now is add another smoothing block. And we're going to make our base all smooth-like, like that. Smooth. There we go. Look at that smooth base. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Ooh, <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, people. All right, so let's add the base to this. There we go. And let's play this. We can actually rotate it. Yes, we can rotate it. But the problem is we're working with a picture and it's not going to look nice. Um, the cool thing with uh, Magic Music Visuals is that it also supports um, 3D graphics in a wide range of, of different stuff. If, if you're working with Blender, like my friend Kairos, the, uh, the, the most... The most 
the 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 best app developer in the world because he made my base synth to my specs. Well, um, he works in Blender, and if he wanted to make some you know cool stuff to use like a 3D text, like a logo, I mean, this is how you can make a really awesome logo for all your intros uh, if you're making YouTube videos. Right? I mean, you could just make your text in a 3D text editor and then import it here as an object. But in that case, you have to add and go to media. Sorry, not media. Special. And no, not special. What is it? Geometry? Uh, yeah, m uh, geometry. And then model. And here you can load your 3D objects. So you can do that. And we can rotate this picture. It's just not going to look very nice, but we could rotate it so that it looks like forward to the camera. Uh, I'm going to remove model here, but we're, we're going to we're going to make the base even smaller. So I'm going to offset it down like this. And what I want to do is I want to do some cool stuff with it, but it looks kind of boring. All right. This scene looks kind of boring. We need something more in here. We need some color in the background. We need a jiggly in the background. Put a jiggly in the background. So we go to add and we're going to add a shape. And shapes can be done. Um, so basically we go into add geometry and not shape, but polygon. And the polygon, okay, the polygon is right now square. Let me do this. Let me add a transform and scaling so I can pull this down whoop, like that. And for now, I'm just going to disconnect this video and disconnect the base, right? So here we have a polygon. And the cool thing with the polygon is that we can add more corners to it. And whenever you want a circle, you just go in type 128 and look at that. You got a circle. It's got to be a, a bit jagged. If you want a nicer circle, you could do 512 instead. And it's going to be almost completely round. Now we can do three sides and that's the least amount of edges you can have or sides to it. Uh, and you can also modulate this, for instance. Uh, right now it doesn't seem to do much. Uh, maybe the signal is too low. Yeah, the signal is too low. But if I, for instance, add bass to this, I think it's gonna do... That's so weird, it doesn't do anything. Why? Huh. Why doesn't it do anything? Come on now. That's so weird. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What I need to do is scale it, uh, scale it by multiplying it. Let's see if we can get some action out of it now. No. Oh, come on. What the? I don't understand. It's supposed to. Huh. That is so weird. Either way, I've done it before. It's um, 10 or 100. It's just, it's not hitting above one. Aha, uh -huh, okay. That could probably be it. Hello, Captain. Captain, my Captain. I always say that when you come into the stream. I've seen you now. I've seen you in the stream. I'm really happy that you could show up. Um... Let's see here. How can we how can we all do bass in mayonnaise? Curse at it. It's a live stream. Do you expect it to work? <laughs> no, I don't. And you know what? I can see that there's 31 people in the street. Can you see my balding head? Can you see it? Can you see it? I know that there's like 31 people in, in the chat right now, or uh, watching right now, but only if you are talking. And some of you aren't watching, you're listening, you might be working. I think of you. I know that you're there, and you're must you're as, just as much as part of this as everyone talking in chat right now. And I keep seeing the number. I'm thinking that maybe the same people co keep coming back. You just can't get enough of me failing on stream. And you know, I'm I'm fine with that. Let's see here. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do um. 
the reason to why I loaded the polygon is because it's such an easy way of getting color into your background if you want some. And the way we're going to do this is I'm going to give it four sides and we're going to scale it up until it covers the whole screen like this. Okay? So now we have a background and now we can... Hello, Mr. Fung and welcome to the stream. Now we can color this by adding a color plugin. Okay? So we're going to do that. We got RGB and uh, HSB. And oh, I love it because... Uh, with uh, Magic Music Visuals, you can work with proper alpha channels, meaning you can have the background bleed into the foreground of the color. It's so nice. Uh, with alpha channels, you can work with true transparency, and it's just... Mwah, 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 mwah. It's just lovely. I love that. So I'm going to choose color H, uh, HSB, and we're going to choose a different hue here. So let's do a purple hue and get the saturation full, but brightness down. All right, so we got like a, um, a dark a dark purple like this. I think this can work. Uh, maybe too much. 25 I think is cool. That's cool. And we can also pull down on the alpha a little bit so that it blends with the rest of it. Uh, now that we have this, we can connect the, uh, the uh, video back. Pop. Like that. And let's make sure we have our layers pos positioned in the right way. So now that our polygon is colored, I'm just going to do this. Bring it back like that. So we have more space to work with. And the cool thing with this is that if you have, uh, you can collapse, multi-collapse stuff. So if you, con if you like, you can see that I'm choosing multiple. If I press the plus sign, it, oh, you can't see it there. They all fold up and fold down like this. So you can collapse multiple things at once. We're going to put a video file like this. Now, I'm not really happy with the... Uh, I think it's not slanted enough. We can slant it a little bit more, I think. So let's open up the rotate axis. And uh, let's do 13. Wait, that's... It's all wrong. 16. Wait. I just removed it. Wait a minute. Undo remove modules. Uh, what am I doing here? 19? Okay, maybe 21. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. But now we have a gray edge, but that's from the plugin. All right, cool. That looks good. All right. So our scene is taking shape. So we have a polygon making the background purple. We have a video slanted that reacts to the bass drum. And we have ourselves the bass lord, the edge lord of all basses. There we got it, the bass. That's the bass. Now, you know what would be cool? If we could get this thing to just, you know, make a trail, like as it's throwing off particles or trails or glowing and stuff. And we can do that. And the way we're going to do that is by doing a double layer here. Let's see here. It's less complicated than Touch Designer, though. Easier to get started with this. This is very easy to get started with because you're working with blocks. Does this software have motion paths, animation on a line? Uh, no, not that I know of. But listen closely now. Since you, I know it's a bit weird, but since all of this can be connected to OSC signals and also MIDI signals, you could literally record your own performance in a MIDI uh, with a MIDI track, you know, and then read that MIDI track here because it reads MIDI files. So, I mean. You have a timeline in your DAW, right? And you could do that. And you can connect it so that this thing reads the MIDI in real time. And you can see what you're doing. So I haven't done it myself. But I will at some point. Because I'm going to do stuff like that for my live shows. I'm going to be building a, a table out of the old palette. Do you do you all remember the palette I used to have on the table? Right here. The red one that I stained. I'm buying uh, four legs for it, um, like steel legs, and then I'm gonna screw them on there. I'm gonna I'm gonna screw that pallet 
good. And then I'm going to put the pallet under my window and I'm going to put the KP3, the Korg KP3 Chaos Pad on there. I'm going to put the the Unosynth on there, the Pro. I'm going to put um, an iPad, a small iPad, an iPad mini, my Chaosolator, um, maybe one of my other synthesizers uh, on there. A pocket operator and it's gonna be my jam palette okay and then I'm gonna put a camera on over it and then I want it connected to a session like a visual session that I can use for these things so that I can uh, also at the same time do cool things with graphics and and project that somehow maybe with a small projector on the wall or something like that so there are many ways you can do this I know it's a little bit of a tangent but it still has to do with this thing here they sell table legs at IKEA. Yeah, but I don't I don't really buy too much stuff at IKEA. I just I like helping the little guys. So I buy from smaller companies. It's a bit more costly, but you know, we need we need to have uh, competition, you know, in the world. And I don't want this one company to own the whole market. So, you know, I mean, they do good stuff, right? But yeah, the little the little people they have stores and stuff too. So I buy from them uh, and I try to uh, level out where I buy my stuff. Sometimes I buy my stuff from the biggest shops because I don't have money, but if I do have a little bit of extra money, I usually go out of my way just to support a smaller business somewhere because I I know what it's like to be small. And don't read into that more than you have to. Stop it. You specifically uh, Russ Is it Russ? It's not Russ, is it? It's Rustic. No, is it Rustic? Now I can't remember which one of you always... You, you go all crazy and berserk in the comment section. Say weird things. Ikea cornering the table leg mark. Okay, I know. Make fun of me. That's okay. I, I know. I know. I get it. But you know what? You know what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to support the little people. Like myself. I'm a little people. I'm only like three inches tall. Now, let's see here. Uh, now that we've done this, we are going to make this thing throw off a trail. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm, I'm basically going to take this whole thing and copy it. Yeah, you can copy and paste. And now we have the same base fish. Now, I'm going to decouple these for a while. So, I'm going to put this base fish here. And the first thing we're going to do is to try to make this thing completely white. Okay, so let's try to do that by using a color, HB, and removing all saturation. No, that's not how we do it. That's not how we do it. Sorry, I'm going to work with brightness. Insert, I think it is ISF, and then color adjustment. Is it bright or color levels? Exposure adjust. Yeah, exposure Let's do exposure and let's see if we can. There, it's white. Now we have something white. All right. So this one is still behaving like the old the ba bass master. So it's a white bass master right now. Okay, so how do we get it to throw off tails? I need space. I need space, okay? Normally I have this, you know, maxed out here. My missed mustache, stupid mustache. Uh, but I needed this part so you can see me in a pip. By the way, if you're liking this stream so far, why don't you hit that thumbs up? I can see th 17 thumbs there already. Um, thank you for those thumbs, by the way. And thank you for sticking with me for a whole year. Whole year we've been doing these live streams. It's sick. It, it goes fast. It goes real fast. And I hope I get to do it another 10 years. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the thumbs up. Mm. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. So let's try to add some trails. Now, yes, that's what it's called. Trails. So we're going to do an insert. You know what? Let's not do trails. Let's do God Rays. I love God Rays. And this... This is where it gets gnarly for the graphics processor. This is when the fan is going to 
just start wor working over time. As soon as you're doing anti-aliasing or fine particles, trails, god rays, wow, that's when the GPU really has to work, the processor, everything just go hot. So, yes, thank you so much. It's it's awesome. Oh, hello, Star. Nice to see you here in the stream. So, let's do this. Um, now, we have to go to ISF and to Stylize, I think it is. And in Stylize, you see how much stuff there is in here? I love this program. I love this so much. God race. Okay, and you can see that it does something there. Now I'm gonna choose a uh, high effect. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Maybe the stream is too low, but you can see that that, okay, that looks even worse, but that is a low quality. This is a mid quality and this is high quality. Now we can change the position, but first we're gonna bring up the drive for this. And then we're gonna change the position you can see this. This can also be automated. And you can literally put in things like um, sine waves, triangular waves, to make stuff modulate. And then you can limit the way that it modulates with um, with other plugins like smoothness and, and inversion. And there's so many thing you, things you can do. Um, I've just started scratching this software, basically. I haven't really gotten under the hood with this. There are some modules in here that allow you to do some sick things if you know a little bit of math. Um, what we're going to do now is just put this to the side like this and then pull it down like this. A little bit like that. Okay? And now I'm going to copy this thing and I'm going to paste it and we're going to invert uh, the position of the, uh, sorry, wait. First, I need to connect this like that. And I'll put this underneath here. And then we're going to move this thing to the other side. And now we have two of these god rays moving like that. Awesome. Awesome. And... We can now connect this to some strong element, and we have the base, right? So we're going to connect the light drive to the base. Bang, like that. Now, let's see here. Uh, we had it at 1, right? So we're going to offset this because I still want there to be a little bit of light. Um, so offset this one. Uh, where is it? Offset it. And we're going to offset it with... Let's see here. How much can, do we need, actually? Let's offset it 0 0.3. And we need to do the same thing here. I could have just... You know what? I'm going to remove this. Copy. So I don't have to do it again. Copy God rays. Insert. And did you see what happened there? When I removed the God rays, it didn't remove the whole connection. It kept the connection. And what I need to do now is to move the light from this because it's in the wrong position to over here. All right. So if we run this now, it gets brighter when the bass goes. And now we can also start doing trails with this if we want so that it trails it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the the bass master back over it so we can see it in full effect. So this is going to give the illusion of you see how the base is now like it's lighting up behind it. Uh, let's see if I can fix the light position here a little better like that. Yeah, and let's pull it down to uh, five, I think. So it's in the middle like that. All right, and that's what we got now. It looks weird. It looks weird. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull down on the uh, the fish in the background, the bass in the background, the bass in the background. The offset, I'm going to make it smaller. No, I can't do that. Okay, it's going to look weird. It's going to look weird no matter how I do. Uh, this is usually not exactly how I want to do it, especially not when you have edges like this because they seem to be moving a little bit differently from one another. Let's see if I've got the same settings here. 
16, 16, yeah. I copied it, so it should be the same. Okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We, we do it like this. It looks pretty cool. Let's do some trails now. Now here, I can already hear the fan spin up. Smooth it. Can you rotate the fish? <laughs> yes. Yes, we can rotate the fish. We can rotate the fish. Um, let's see here. What do we want to do exactly? Uh, let's put the rotate in right before the scaling. So transform and rotate axis. You also have rotate vector. And then you can do some really awesome stuff with it. This is just rotating one thing at a time. But when you're using rotating vector, you basically have all of the axes together. So you can work the Z, the X, and the Y at the same time. This is like using the logic MIDI environment. <laughs> Back in the day, I used to have this system for my PC that I built. My big tower with the water cooler and everything. I had three DSP cards in there called Creamware. And the modular system looked like this. So the mixer kind of looked like this. And then you could double tap it and you got the mixer up. And then you connected all of the things in this way. Um, it's the same if you're working with something like, yeah, what, what is that other thing called? Mm. I've seen um, this plug-in hardware thing called Axolotti. That also looks like that. Sorry, I'm shaking the camera here. I got to make that stick somehow. Cakewalk? Yeah, I remember that. Now, if I rotate this, it's going to do some weird stuff. And we have to do it on both. And we can basically make that happen. Uh, let's do that. Let's make it happen for both of them. So I'm going to set up a rotation here. Like this. You can see that it's rotating uh, right now. And we need to do that with both. So what we're going to do is we are going to smooth this out a lot. A lot. Oh, it's so rotating. It's rotating. It's so rotating. Rotate and uh, axolot a lot. Copy, paste this thing. Uh oh, an auction is soon ending. I'm still trying to. I'm still trying to buy a, 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 an Android tablet. Everyone, I'm still trying to buy one used, and and another one is gonna end. Have they have they fucked this up? Did they fuck it up? Did they did they? Dude, I hope you don't have young children watching. Don't say the things that Jakob is saying. He's an idiot. Don't do what he did. Me. I'm talking about myself in third person. Don't do that. Uh, please don't. Please don't watch this with your children. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to start tagging my videos with not for kids. Um, let's see here. Samsung Galaxy. Oh, they already fucked it up. Why did you do that? Why do they do this? I don't understand. Oh, bidding wars in Sweden. Let's just start bidding on it very early. And let's start making it so so that it gets so high that it's now not even reasonably priced. It's pr it's priced slightly above reasonably priced. <sighs> so, yeah, I guess I lost that one. Sorry for the side tangent. I've been trying to buy this used Android tablet now for ages. And mm, they keep slipping me. And the fish is still listening to my... To my voice, we need to stop that from happening. We need to tell this thing to listen to the bass. Or maybe we should have it listen to the hi-hat. Let's see what happens. Yeah, let's do that. It's it's doing a little... <laughs> okay, so let's copy that. And it only takes two for bidding war. First rule of swoop. Never build a bit early I know but I'm a piece of shit person that will sit there for weeks watching something until the last day and then the last day I'll start bidding and I'm like it's you know and it's not the last day we're talking a few minutes before it ends yeah I know I know I'm a bad person but when you don't have that much money you kind of have to be a little bit shitty in order to get the deals you want uh 
if I had loads of if I had loads of money, I still wouldn't you know pay more than I would need. You know, I'd still try to get it a little bit lower. But yeah, when you have to flip every coin, as we say in Swedish, vända på varandra krona. Let's flip every coin. It basically means you have to consider everything you're buying. You you yeah. Sometimes you have to be a little bit of a little bit of a D. Yeah, you have to be a little bit of a D. And that's that's what happens sometimes. And I try to pay that back through my tutorials. That's how I justify me being a D uh, during auctions. Somehow that doesn't taste right in my mouth anymore. Yeah, that's what happens when you start looking at your own behavior. Sometimes you find out that, yeah, maybe you're not such a nice person after all. Okay, so um, is that done now? So, what's going on? The base is making this push forward. And we have some glowy stuff that glows more when the base comes. And then, and then, we also now have a little bit of emotion like this from the hi-hat. Yeah, it's doing a little jiggly. Ooh. All right. Now, I want all of this all of this to be to leave trails so we need to take the layer behind it if we remove the ba base master and we add trails now the fan is going to spin up even worse go to stylize and uh, no it's not it's not stylized wait a minute it's effects yeah effects 2d trails there we goes there he goes there he goes and we need to get both of these in here so connect that into here and there we go all right and now we increase the strength of this a little bit a little bit of blur radius like that put this to nine five like that and we now connect that to the base two so it trails a bit with that and we'll offset it let's see here let's see what it looks like right now uh, we need to offset it more and let's disconnect the bass because I want this to have some speed so we can basically change the speed, meaning we can get it to move forward or backwards towards us, this thing. What Dean says down there, that's that's how you're... Uh, be. If you want to be a real dick when, when you're doing bidding, you do it exactly like Dean says down there. I have done that in the past, and I've actually managed to get myself a few products uh, on a... On a and a site like that and I I've seen videos from people you know raging about people like me doing things like that but yeah that's that's what it is you know that's what it is that's how you that's how you do it sometimes I, it's it's a shitty move but if you really need something and you don't have the money and the price is good yeah then that's one way of doing it people ain't gonna like you when you do but that's that's what's gonna happen I'm going to increase the speed now. See how it moves? Yay, and it's moving. We can have it move backwards, and we can have it move forwards. So it's moving up right now. Let's add the this again, and we can make this trail. Come on, make it trail more. Pull it down. There we go. Right. And the final touch we need to do is to put a color mode on here, HSB, to color it. And we just simply pull down on the alpha, give it a different color like this. And now it, everything behind it, it's going to blend through. We put the base fish back, whoops, on top of it, like that. Um, 
this is this ain't my best work but this is how you work the project and as you can see right now how much time we've spent in this already um, I mean this is gonna be like a two-hour stream and we're not gonna get to the result I really want from this uh, so you can see like I'm, I'm sure I'm explaining it to you but normally I'd probably put at least four to five minutes just sitting here trying to get everything right and then I'll test out stuff so easily easily one element making one element for one thing can take you hours and I know that sometimes I spent about five or six hours trying to get the 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 graphics for just one thing correct I know that I spent eight hours a whole day on making that nice retro synth wavy looking thing you know for one of them let's see here let's run this together ah look at that it's, it's so epic and let's put let's put the uh, video atop here Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> the, the, the base fish. Yeah. And that's basically how I am working with these graphics. So now that I've done this, let me show you some of the things that I've made. Let me show you my projects. And I don't know if they're going to fit on screen. I think we can scroll. Yeah, we can scroll. Okay. Let's open a project here. I've, I've saved this. Save project. It's saved. Okay. Open project. And we'll take, let's see here. I can't remember. It's base city. Is it base two magic? Let's see here. Is it that one? I can't remember which one it is. No, that's not it, but. You don't seem to get. You see that? You see how hard it's working? <laughs> I need you to listen, all right? Let's go. I mean, that is so insane how hard it's working. Let me show you the, the city one. I want to show you the city one and how I built that. Because I'm so happy with that one. Let's see here. Template city. Uh, vocoder. Can that be the one? No, not the vocoder. Is it city two and three? Yeah, there we go. So this one. Okay. One thing I want to say that this can be scalable to anything you want, all right? And when you decide to export it, I mean, if you want to do one of these awesome... Now, okay, it doesn't fit this one because the sun here is actually a picture and I had to use a screen blend mode and it didn't blend it properly. But if we want to do like a wide picture here, let's see, like that. I mean, this is pretty cool. Imagine this and then black bars up top here and down here. This, this, I'm so happy with this. And there's so many elements in here. And you can see that in the background. You can see that here. You can see all of it, all right? All of it. I'm going to put this one over here. And then I'm going to scroll here to the side. So you can see there's the output. Wait, it, the output actually comes over here because I'm contrasting and coloring and, and doing loads of stuff here. But this is basically all the blocks it took to build this thing. Um, and so uh, this here is a video file. And I made this video inside. Uh, the color looks all wrong on the iPhone. It doesn't look as nice as it does in reality. But as you can see, there's moving stuff here. This is something I did in LumaFusion, actually. I made this video in LumaFusion. All of these backgrounds that you've seen, the blue ones, the green ones, the red ones, I make them in LumaFusion. And maybe someday I can show you how I do my animations in LumaFusion. But basically, this is just me taking a lens flare and animating it back and forth over a grid. And as you can see now, the techniques that I showed you uh, just now, you know, when we made that bass thing, that, that technique, 
is basically what I've been using to make this thing. So I've been loading images. Uh, the sun is an image. And then in the background, it has a colored field that gives off trails. You've seen that now uh, with the picture over it and a blend mode to make it fit because this is the type of sun you do for that. The midnight moon, yeah, it's awesome, right? And then this down here, the city, is a bunch of PNGs I found. I searched for a bunch of cities like common, uh, uh, creative commons, uh, PNG city uh, silhouettes and stuff. And then I blended multiple of them together in here. And that's what you can see uh, right here. Where are they? Images. So here, there's one image here. And then I'm duplicating it with different uh, translations, moving them differently. And then I've got all of it connected to a scaler to, uh, to make them bigger. And then I've got a translation where the bass drum is moving the z-axis and that's how the city is moving forward whenever we're playing the track. I don't know if you can see that. You don't seem to get it. I need you to listen. <laughs> And I'm also, um, uh, uh, the sun is using trails and god rays, and I'm also using god rays on, on the spectrum analyzer that comes up in the background. Uh, when it comes up, it l l lights up like, like um, what do you call it? Uh, when you're using strålkastare på engelska. What the hell is that called in English? Uh, spotlights, you know? When you're using big spotlights, party spotlights. Um, so whenever the spectrum comes up, let me just mute this and I can play this for you, right? You can see that it puts up these spotlights. That's God rays, right? And I'm using a blend mode and these are actually two spectrum analyzers uh, doubled up. Uh, and they're listening to the bass. And then the bass kick hits the city and the sun. And then I have stars in the background, and these stars are actually emojis stars because you can load images like you've seen us do. We loaded a base fish, right? Um, and then what else? I've got the animated thing here, and that's that's pretty much it. Oh, of course, I loaded a polygon in the background like we did, and then colored that. That's how I got this uh, nice color here. You can't really see it. You can see it when it lights up that it's colored in a greenish kind of color, greenish cyan color. And that's all it is to make this thing. But it's so cool. Uh, and the thing is, I had to export the whole track for the, the entire track, right? The track is 3 minutes and 20 seconds. Because I don't know exactly what parts I was going to use. So even if you don't need more than 12 seconds or 5 seconds, which, which would take not that long to export, I still had to export all of it because I didn't know, I wasn't sure... Uh, what to do. So if you want to save time doing something like this when you're exporting, you do a storyline and you type out the storyline exactly what you're going to use um, and then that way you only export the bits you need in order to get the graphics you want. But this, I'm so happy with this. I was so happy with it that I screenshotted this thing, I color corrected it a little bit and I used it in my thumbnail for the Unosynth video that I just put out. Have you all seen that by the way? This software is nearly identical to the MIDI environment of Logic. The more you show them, the more they seem identical. Probably people who are using this software or making this software, maybe they're using Logic too, so it makes sense for them. It's, it's, then again, this type of environment, like I said, I've been using Creamer stuff, and that was, what, 10 years ago, 15 years ago? It looks as exactly like this, uh, only it was audio. Uh, modular synthesizers, synthesizers, drums, effects, mixers, all like this. MIDI connections, all like this. Audio connections, all like this. And before that, I used something called VAS Modular, V-A-Z. It doesn't look exactly like this, but it's, you know, modulars. You you pull connections through blo um, to blocks and stuff. Yeah. It's very, very straightforward to use, and um, it's very cool. It's similar to how you do shaders in 3D software, like Unity. Joshua K, are you a are you a, a game developer? Joshua K, maybe you said that last time we streamed. Um, I have big love for game developers. Big love, big 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 love. Like like Cyberpunk that I'm playing right now. 
the, the, the one game, one single game, I've never had a game inspire the, the way I make music today and what music I make. Hi, Vortex. Mobile Music Pro is in the chat. Um, I mean, that game, the music in that game is awesome, but the bugs are completely destroying some of the gameplay in there but i can see every bit of love that these developers put in there and i'm so amazed at how they were even able to make the game run at all with all of that shit going on you know all of the things going on to make that world feel so real on an old console like i'm playing on i'm amazed by that so i don't hate any developers for bugs um they didn't get the time they needed to to finish it up. That's all this on the CEOs, and it's a damn shame because here are these awesome developers doing their best, and they've got shitty CEOs. And I stand by that. Shitty CEOs. If you have shitty CEOs, it doesn't matter how good you are. Do, if if there are game developers in here, do you think that it would be ha too hard for me to learn? Uh, using something like like Unreal Engine or something like that, because I'd I'd love to give a, a go at it, you know. Do some stuff with it. I'd 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 love to. I am at least gonna at some point get an M1 Mac, and I am gonna get some 3D software because my game, my my video game, could get so much. Oh God, there's so much I want to do. There's so much I want to do. I'm telling you. So what did you think? Did you like this episode? Did you like me doing this thing, even if it is on a MacBook right now? My, I mean, we can do similar things and have a look at what's actually available on iOS. Now, I've tried most of it, and none of it, it really suits me that well, doesn't really fit my taste, and none of it can give us something like this. But Captain recommends Unity. Yeah, of course, Unity. I, I do that too. I'd do that too. Uh, I'd love to try something out. It's cool to see, Dean says. Yeah, if you want me to do more stuff like this, I'd love to. I mean, wow, I love doing stuff like that. I mean, I do video editing all the time. I do so many things in the background. I produce all of my B-roll footage myself and all of my graphics. And I, I'd love to show you if you want to see it. There's so many components to game production. It's hard to say. You may love some parts of it and hate others. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. you know, whenever this YouTube game is over, I don't know. Let's say I'm 60 and I'm sitting there and maybe I'm doing some, some audio, audio developing, you know? Developing for some game or something. That's what I'm thinking. Later down the line, maybe when I want to take it easy... I, not, I don't mean that game development is easy, but when I don't want to do YouTube anymore, when I want to do something else. I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to stop doing YouTube. I'm not saying that. I just don't know how long this train is going to go, you know, because at any point, YouTube can just decide to do something stupid and I'm gone. You know, that that's I'm always worried about that. Believe it or not, Adobe Animate, formerly Flash, is a really cool environment. I use Final Cut since it came out. Master of all. I am not the master of all, <laughs> Quake apps. <laughs> I'm a pretty shitty... Um, I, when it comes to Twitch shooters, I am so shit at that. It doesn't matter if I have a mouse or a controller in my head. I am so shit at that. I've been a king on StarCraft, um, you know, and old Warcraft. We're under attack. Ugh, I love that. <laughs> iOS mostly uses Swift 5. Seems like a pretty short train and time for YouTube. Yeah, you never know. But then again, I'm a child of the internet. I was born with the internet up my... Uh, no, I'm not going to say that. I, I was born into this world with internet. My first computer was a C64, and I love the internet, you know? that It's been one of my best friends, one of my absolute best friends, because I never really fit into society that well. And I know that there's a lot of people watching this, or people just listening right now, that, that knows what that feels like. And yeah, so my heart goes out to you. I get it. I completely get it. 
So whatever next platform I might have to move on to if something happens with YouTube, I'll just do that. Don't you worry about that. Till the day I die, I'm probably going to be an internet thing. An internet thing. I'm going to try to be an internet thing. That's what I'm still doing. I'm still trying to be an internet thing. YouTube is my second significant other. Yeah, it's the same here. I mean, I remember YouTube when it came out. The platform back then. I remember a time when you could also, like later down the line, when it got upgrades, you could change colors and have your own page with your own color and stuff. I had like a yellow YouTube page uh, with black te black black text on it and stuff. Yeah, I remember where you, when you could post weird stuff and pictures in comments and you know I love all production steps especially behind scenes yeah you know what I'm gonna show you another one what how crazy this can get save changes no not save changes I hope this is helpful to anyone if you want to try out some stuff uh, we can check out the uh, the massive one, the epic organ, epic organ, epic. I'm a weeaboo, everyone. If you didn't know it, absolutely love Japanese culture. Oh no, Yoko, what have you done? No. Oh, why didn't you block this up? Which one is this? Which one is this? I see. It's that one. Ooh, okay. All right, all right. Is this the full one? Do, do, do. Do, do, do. There we go. Look at that. It's so epic. It's so epic. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, come on. Yeah. I just love this one. And I want to show you the one with the black and white uh, base because that one is absolutely sick. That one was so hard to make because I had to make the exact same setup twice but inverted one white and one black white uh, the inverted colors and then mix between them with a switch and the switch being the different bass sounds. Uh, save changes? No. Do not save changes. Let's see if I can find this one. Mint pop bass is it two let's see here oh yeah it's this one this one okay so it's basically the same thing twice and then with the mixer in between and then the different bases look at that it's sick <laughs> If you haven't seen the original video, uh, which one is it? Uh, let's see if I can grab this here and go to Jakob Hack YouTube. Uh, Jakob Hack YouTube. Is it going to start playing my stupid... No, it's not. Okay. Uh, and by the way, if y'all haven't seen the latest video I put up yet, you need to go watch it. You need to go watch it. It's gr it's great. I'm so happy with this video about the Unison Pro because the Unison Pro was so it's so sick. I just love working with it. It's awesome. Oh, by the way, I've talked about this before, that I wanted a sponsor, okay? That I want to get sponsors in on the show. And I've been talking to a few companies, and one company that are willing to, to, to sponsor the show is Lander. But not for that Lander service. I think I've talked about this before. Not for the actual mastering service. They're doing this web-hosted, um, like a loop production thing, where you can go through loops and put them together right there in the web browser and then export that and open it up in your DAW 
I like that idea, you know, of web-based production. We're seeing more and more tools like that. So uh, I'm, I'm seriously considering it. Do you think it's a good idea? Um, also, uh, I'm, I'm finally got an affiliate with uh, IK Multimedia. It's weird that I haven't done that before until now. So now I finally have my first IK Multimedia affiliate link on, on, uh, on YouTube, and it's for the Unosynth. I haven't had that. So many years I've been using the products, like eight, nine, ten years, more maybe. And during all this time, whenever I've been talking with their stuff, I could have just asked them if they, if I could affiliate with them. And I didn't. I don't know why. I'm so stupid. But yeah, I mean, that's another way of making money on YouTube, I guess. And I, I just didn't do it. Um, let's see here. So if y'all haven't seen that one... Uh, with the graphics I'm showing you right now, if you go to, um, can you close that down, please? It's this one. Let's see here. It's, what? Where did you go? Oh, no. Oh, wait. Let's go to v videos. Uh, right there. There it is. The epic track. This one. It's that one. That's where that graphic is from. If you want to go watch that, uh, let's just move this one down. No, let's close this browser. I've had so much fun today. Um, and uh, I mean, we have about 20, 25 minutes left on the stream. And we can just talk if that's okay. Can you do a tutorial on magic music visuals? <laughs> what, the, what the fuck, Jim? <laughs> did you have an... Did, did you have an aneurysm? What happened? What What's going on, Jim? Are you okay? I just did. Or maybe you're not joking. But if, if you want one, you could go back. If, if you're not trolling me right now, just go to that little thing under the video right here. And then take it back to the beginning. And you can see the entire tutorial where, I'm, where I go through it. But yes, I can of course do something for my channel too. Of course, where you can actually see all the things. So I, ho I hope you're okay with me razzing you a bit there. But I, I still don't know if that's called razzing. Maybe I'm saying something horrible to you right now, and I don't even know it. What is razzing right? I'm, I'm trying to say that I'm, I'm yanking your crank. I'm pulling on your weeds. I'm, I'm nipping your... T no, I'm not going to say that. Uh, I'm saying too many things. I mean non-lie one. Okay, Jim, you're not messing with me. Okay, I'll, I'll do something. Razzing is right, and you spell it with double double Z, double Z. Okay, good, good. I'll do something for my main channel, yes. And, I mean, this tutorial took about one and a half hour, approximately. If we cut away all the shit talk in between about an hour on the live stream, I can probably have this tutorial down to under 20 minutes or 15 minutes so that people can really see what's going on because you know how I like zooming in and doing markers and arrows and stuff and really showing what it's like making this stuff. So I'll do that. I'll do that. I missed the entire stream. Yes, Uncle Tom. No, well, not the entire. You, you still have 20 minutes left where I sit and I'm just being a great ace bastard for a bit here. Uh... Mm. The, by the way, weird question. Does anyone here remember Garbage Pail Kids? Garbage Pail Kids, anyone? That was really disgusting. My mom hated those things. I think they were like trading cards or something, right? Or like, or did you get them with gums? No, I think they were trading cards. Disgusting things. Such a weird thing to make for kids. I, I mean, ugh. If you haven't seen it, just if you haven't seen it and, and you're squ squeamish, do not Google it because there's some really nasty shit with the garbage pail kids. Is that still a thing, by the way? I mean, it was a thing when I was young. Trading cards with stickers. All right, okay, thank you, Joshua. The stream is better than watching it later due to the ads. Sorry. <laughs> ads? Wait. There shouldn't be any ads on these videos here. If there are, then something is wrong. Because I don't have monetization on, on the live stream at least. 
this one I'm doing the live stream channel only for 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 the fans. If I ever do monetize this thing, it's it's only gonna be from me actually reading out an ad advert inside the video, and it will be clearly marked. So it's still gonna be me messing it up, saying the words wrong, messing with the advertiser. I mean, I've seen so many videos with uh, Eric. Um, internet comment etiquette with Eric and I love the way he does ads he has a lot of fun with his advertisers with his sponsors that's how I would want to do it if I ever got like that that those type of ads where I read it up and that's what I'm thinking about with lander and if it goes well I'm thinking about removing regular YouTube ads completely because I also find them annoying which is why I do not litter my my videos with ads I've seen people who do 20 minute videos and they'll have an ad at the beginning, like everyone does, and then at one and a half minute in, another ad hits. Two minutes after that, another ad. Three minutes after that, another ad. Me, if I do a 25 minutes video, it's usually an ad after 10 minutes, and then 10 minutes after that, and that's it. Ads on the screen, but later. There shouldn't be any ads. I'm gonna check my settings here, but there shouldn't be any ads, uh, not yet. Like I said, if I ever do ads here, I'll I'll read them out. Like, uh, do you like? The, I've seen some really ridiculous ones, like Dollar Shave Club. I've seen people do. <laughs> like, do you shave? Me, I couldn't really sponsor that because I shave once a week, and I mean, I got weak growth. No pun intended. Weak growth. It, nothing much happened. It looks like I've got a bit of shit on my cheek and that's it. Not much. I mean, this thing here, I've never ever touched it with a razor. Not here either. It's been like this. Ever since I was like, you know, 15, 16. Well, actually, I got my first hair spray on my lip when I was like 18. I was a late bloomer, very late bloomer. If you saw pictures from me back when I was 20, you, there's a lot of people who see that and they say... Oh, you're such a cute kid. How old were you here? 12? And I'm like, no, I'm fucking 20. God damn it. YouTube messed up with my ad settings. I had to fix them manually on each live stream. What? No. Oh, my God. So people are getting ads on my video. But I'm not receiving any cash for that. Okay, I'm going to check it out. Jim, uh, YouTube ads will only show if the person having the channel has turned ads on. And then you can do two things. You can either put in ads. If, if this is a video you're uploading, you can put the ads in yourself at specific spots. But the problem with that is that, you know, YouTube won't show ads for everyone. And it's always based upon the viewer. Yes. But if you do not have ads on, you, there will be no ads unless someone else claims the video for instance let's say that you use a song from someone and then the publishing company comes in and claims the uh, claims that and tell, says we're going to have our ads on there and then you'll have ads on there no matter what you can't do shit to that and they're going to get the money so yeah if you turn if you turn it off and there's nothing wrong with the video and no one claims it then there shouldn't be any ads and on this channel like i i don't have the setting for ads at all on it's not like monetized at all like it's completely off and it shouldn't it shouldn't show you any ads and if it's showing you ads then where the fuck is my money where the hell is my money because i'm not getting paid for this youtube Sponsor is a good uh, idea, especially if they're about music. Yes, and that's what Lander is. I mean, basically, they're offering mastering, but like I said, I'm interested in their web service. And, oh, shit, I better answer that guy. He's been trying to get a hold of me for two weeks, and I red flagged two of his emails already. Oh, I've been speaking to a guy on Lander. I like him. He's a, a, a musician from Canada uh, that started working for Lander recently. And he's very, very human. And I like it because I hate it when market people, marketing people aren't human. And when they're treating you like a number, I'm super sensitive to that, which is a bad business decisions. Don't do that. Don't, don't be, make it personal like me, which is why I never earn any money. Because if you say the wrong thing, thing to me, I'm, I'm not going to, 
I'm not going to work with you. Yep, I'm really that stupid. <sighs> I'm so stupid. I live in Canada. What does that tell you? That tells me that you probably have a, <laughs> a great sense of humor. Or you have the same sense of humor like we Swedes do. Whenever you're up in the north, you know, like if you live close upper, uh, when it gets colder, like the Boston area, I know that's not Canada, I know that's the US, Boston area, you know, Anchorage, when you get up there, and then you get into Alaska and also Quebec and all of these places up there. I basically only know two, t two cities in Canada. I know I'm ashamed of myself. But yeah, that the, the, the climate and the people kind of behaves the same way. And when you get to the warmer, warmer stuff, then people behave differently. I know that because my, my dad, he comes from a warmer climate. So I have relatives on one side that comes from this cold climate where you shake hands and you're really pol polite with your bowing and stuff. And then I come from the, then on the other side, we, my dad's side, where it's always hugs, you know, it's, uh, things like that. So it's it, it, different climates will produce different behaviors in people. That's very clear to me. We're taxed like shit. Yeah, so are we. But then again, the social system in Sweden works really well for that. I mean, that's the down, that's the downside of it. Um, if you pay more taxes, then there will be money over for other. If you pay less, there will be less money over for other things. I mean, there are countries where they have both of these systems in various ways, and these countries are still existing. So, which one is best? Who can tell? Hey, hey, I prefer it this way because I'm Swedish and I've been living like this my whole life, uh, which means that when I wanted to go to school, I didn't have to do anything. I just went to school. It was all paid for. Uh, my medical bill paid for, same as in Canada. Like, it, it, you do pay a little bit, but imagine this. If you're in the U.S., imagine this. I break an arm. I go to the hospital. I pay about $20 for that visit. That's it. Done. Everything else has been paid off by taxes from people. And if I end up sick with, uh, with corona, I don't pay for that. If I end up spraining something or need medication, then they will subsidize the cost for the medicine uh, if it's on a recipe. It, things like that. The only thing that is not involved in this, in the, uh, in that, is uh, dental work after you're 18 or 20. I can't remember. But actually, as soon as, like, as long as you're a teen, up in your teens, even your dentistry gets fixed, and you don't pay that much. You pay, you pay a little, but not much. It's pretty sick. Less productions. Hey, what's up? I'm Canadian too, hanging with the homies. I wonder what the systems are like in other countries. I know we have view very similar in the UK. All right, you see, I wanted to know. I think I don't know if that guy is on there, but we had a guy uh, from um, what was it? Oh God, I can't remember what country it was. Was it South Africa? I can't remember. Or was it Senegal? Now I can't remember. But yeah, I'm, I'm always curious about stuff like that, how it works. Also about, you know, how hard it can get some products in certain places. Like, I had one viewer, like, asking me what the prices were for pocket operators in Sweden. Since, I mean, they're made here in Stockholm. Oh, well, they make them in China, right? But yeah, they're designed here and you can... Literally, I've been down at the uh, the offices for teenage engineering. Um, like I even became friends with Tobias, uh, which is a guy you can see. They do live streams, and then when they do live streams with pocket operators and shit and OPC, that's Tobias. You see, he's a super great guy, super great guy, so sweet, lovely guy. And prices in Sweden are pretty much the same here as it is in Germany, in the UK, in Canada, in, in the US. Even when you consider the different values in, uh, in uh, currency. 
But then uh, this viewer told me that wherever they lived, I can't remember where it was, they can't even get them. They can't even, they have to import them. Health insurance wise, the same in Germany like in Sweden. That's interesting. That's very interesting. So let's see here. How long have I streamed for? All right, 100 minutes. Now I have to do some calculations. 100 minutes, that's one hour and 40 minutes. Is it? <laughs> am I, am I, um, did I get that wrong? Healthcare here is messed up system in the States. Yeah, I've heard some real nightmare stories and uh, wow, it's just amazing. It's amazing. I wish you guys did not have it like that, you know? Especially when you when stuff happens to you, someone breaks an arm and suddenly they can't pay pay their rent. They have to do that instead. It's just insane. I mean, Jesus, Jesus. Y'all have to w move to Sweden. It's just that not too many of you can do that because they, you, the U.S. is pretty big. You know, Sweden ain't that big. It ain't that big. Then you also have Canada. <laughs> you, can, you can move to Canada. You can do that or Germany. Apparently, or UK. Mike Lucas. Okay, I won't get you started on it. Let's talk about something else. Let's talk about something else. Uh, oh. What do you say? Um, Hola, amigo. In Spain, healthcare is also covered by the government. Oh, really? it is? Okay, awesome. Everything is fine unless we get hurt or sick. Then you lose everything. Oh, my God. I get nervous. So, you, U.S. developers out there, I love you, all right? Don't get fucking sick. Just stop. Don't. Don't hurt yourself. Be careful. Just be careful. Take care of yourselves. What are you doing, Fernando? Are you good? You good? Did you come from work or something? Um... Uh, Or maybe you are at work right now and you're cheating. You're not you're not working, you're watching the stream instead. <laughs> Sup Russ. Nice to see you, Russ. Oh crap, I've forgotten to contact you. I'll try to fix that. I'll try to fix that. I'm sorry, Russ. I need to do this project with you. I really do. The only thing sick is my mind. I'm watching on a big stack of bills. <laughs> I'm waiting on a big stack of bills. You save that big stack of bills. Make sure you're safe and secure. I live in California. I get free health care because I'm poor and old. Oh, that's a thing? That's good. That's good. If you take care of... Are you a pensioner, Tom? Pensioner. Pensioner. Pens... Panchunar is what we say in Swedish. I don't know how old you are exactly, Tom. Maybe, maybe I. I didn't mean to offend you in any way. I got to go to work in two hours. Oh. I hope you have a good day at work, Jim. Fernando. What are you doing? Are you still here? Lol, a pensioner. Sound like an old pirate. <laughs> Robo uh, M. Mac Kenobi. Oh, Kenobi. What's up, Kenobi? Have you been here all this time? Uh, maybe I just missed it. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to open one more. Just show you one more. Before. Uh, what? What? What's going on here? No, that's not right. That ain't right. Oh, there we go. Let's see here. Okay, file. Open. Don't don't worry about it, Jim. I'm not a pensioner. I'm a long-time resident. I think you broke my brain, Tom. I think you broke my brain been an extremely long month for me because I've basically been doing about like 
between 14 and 16 hour passes just trying to get this whole project and the video together and I actually wanted to make the video longer it was supposed to be half an hour another another uh, eight minutes or whatever it was four or six minutes uh, with me talking about other things you know but yeah I needed to get this done because like I said I need to contact a lot of people I need to get myself a sponsor I need to work on that video doing the sponsorship for the first time and see how that goes see how the chan people on the channel will receive it maybe people will hate me I don't know what's gonna happen you know that makes me nervous if anyone's gonna get angry at me for getting a sponsor but it's the only way forward if I can't uh, somehow increase uh, a cash flow from what I'm doing here considering the time I put into it uh, I'm not gonna be able to stay here for long that's the thing so in order to do this YouTube like this because I've always done it full time and keep doing it I need to make sure that I'm safe and secure financially and a sponsor is definitely needed it's de definitely needed and now it's uh, that I found someone I'm just worried that people are gonna hate me and call me a sellout or something and there's always people are gonna do that I know I mean I've I've been called a sellout I was called a sellout when I did my pocket operator videos Hope you get lots of sponsors. Nothing wrong with the right sponsor. If you fall below a certain level of income, California has mercy and starts covering people. Oh, awesome. Oh, yeah, that's right. You've got different states, different rules, different laws. I forgot about that. Dude, that's the goal of working of YouTube, making you enough to survive. No sellout. <laughs> sellout, Jokob Klein. Do it, bro. Entitled to get paid. That's the thing. I never. I don't feel entitled to do anything. Like, old Jacob might have done that. Felt entitled to stuff. I don't feel entitled. I, I feel like I work for it, you know? I, I work for it. I work for everything, you know? I try to work for it. Uh, I'm not entitled to get views from you. I'm not entitled to have patrons donate money to me or give me money. I'm not t entitled to the PayPal donations I occasionally get, which is such, you know, it's such a sweet thing, you know, people wanting to do that on Patreon and PayPal and stuff. And I know that there are people that just do not want to do PayPal and Patreon. I respect that. I get it. And I get all the reasons behind it also. But they still say they want to support me in some way. And so they'll buy my songs, which is, you know, I'd rather you buy my songs if you like it. Not because you want to support it, but, you know, any support is fine. But you, I think you know what I mean. Of course, you want people to buy your stuff because they like your stuff, right? Like the tracks. But some people do that. And then the, you can get sponsors. And that's a way of just taking that pressure away from my from my audience. In some way, I want to do that, too. Uh, you know, I don't want to pressure my audience into anything. The audience is the reason to why I'm having a channel. Two channels. And this one is one year old and the other one is... Uh, I'll get back to you on that one. I can't remember how old it is now. I'd sell out in a second. Making YouTube videos isn't an easy work. <laughs> No, it's it, no, it's not. Making good content is not easy. Making shitty content can be very easy, and you can get rich on that. I know, I've seen it, and I'm not gonna call anyone out, cause I'm I'm a coward. I'm gonna sit on the fence and say, yeah, there's some shitty content out there. Maybe one of these days, I'll I'll talk about that stuff here on the live stream channel. The theme of the stream is the title of the stream. I'm so pressured. What have I missed this time? Oh, baseline. Hey, what's the main theme? Yes, the main theme of this stream was me. I I did a whole tutorial uh, in... Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll show you. I did a whole tutorial where I showed people how I make my audio visuals. And uh, we did audio visuals where we did a little bass thing here. So let's just play that. And by the way, this is one of the tracks that I'm making right now for uh, for that cyberpunk-inspired album that I'm doing. 
So right now I have three albums I'm even working on. And I've even started up a second mellow album because I've got two songs already finished and one that we did during a stream. So it might be a, an album or an extended EP with five songs on it or something like that, mellow, because I want to make uh, the people who signed up for mellow stuff to be happy too. Because, I mean, I'm, I'm just being creative and I like so many types of music. L like I said in, during the last stream, I can go from listening to uh, Bob Marley and the Wailers to Toots and the Maytales. Okay, we're, uh, almost similar stuff. Go from there over to listening to The Prodigy, switching over from there to listening to classical music, going from classical music, listening to Nine Inch Nails and uh, Mar Marilyn Manson. And, you know, I just love so many types of music. Um, and I make all kinds of music. So, I mean, it's hard to get, it's hard to get fans of my music because I mix it up. But what I do deal with mostly is bass music, right? Bass music. That's what I do, bass music, um, mainly. So I go, I'm, I'm going to get an, a, a cyberpunk album done, and I'm going to get a synthwave album done, and I'm going to get that, that mellow EPA thing done. It's going to be super great. And the cyberpunk uh, track, uh, track one is basically going to be made with just one thing at a time. So... You've seen me make the Uno synth. If, if you've saw, if you haven't watched the video that I just put up today, but you've seen me done that one cyberpunk track with one synth, the Uno synth. I've done two tracks just with figure and AUM, um, and I'm gonna choose other synthesizers to to make just tracks and try to get the sound to be somewhat similar, uh, the cyberpunkish dark synth wavy thing. Uh, and just make an entire album with that, with some cool videos and graphics and stuff and publish that. And then when I'm done with that, in a year, two years, I'll do a series of videos uh, that will be named How to Succeed with Your Music, How to Get Creative with Your Music, How to Finish Songs, How to Make Albums, How to Publish Albums. Because I only like doing videos on stuff that I've thoroughly researched. And to research this, I have to do it. I have to make it. So yeah, that's that's what. If if you think that my videos are good, is it's only because I try to put in as much time as I can into it. That's just the way it is. I mean, there are several channels out there that are just as crazy when it comes to making like sick, sick stuff, sick stuff. So many channels that I watch. Oh, oh, I get a stretch. I want to thank you so much for coming here. And I'm going to be rounding off the stream because we're hitting two hours. And um, I just want to say I love you. All of you. Tony, Baseline, Joshua, Electronic Sounds. The 25 people are still listening. The 31 that were, were there before. The 35 that were there earlier. Russ, Rob, Mc, Rob, McNobi, McNobi, <laughs> Tony Duncan, Fernando, Moonlighting, just watching, just go waiting to watch the Atletico de Madrid. Atletico, Atletico de Madrid, is that football? Oh, you said football. It is football. Atletico de Madrid. Audible video. Electronic sounds. Jim Shannon. Uh, captain, Captain, my Captain, Michael Lohmeyer. Michael Lohmeyer. What else? What else? We probably have more names here. I don't want to miss anyone. Les Swan Productions. Let's Les 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 Productions Z Wan. Mike Lucas. Electronic sounds audio. I've said that so many times now. Anthony S. Uh, you're all here. And everyone else I haven't mentioned. Thank you so much. I will see you next Wednesday. And next Wednesday, I'm thinking, what do we do? What do we do next Wednesday? What do we do next Wednesday? What do you want to do? What do you want me to do? What should we do? You can just comment, you know. You know what? I'll make. I can make a. I can make a, a poll video. 
oh, it's a poll video. I can make a poll if you want. Uh, and then you can comment underneath if there's something else. <laughs> Things you can do with honey. <laughs> Things you can do with honey. Accordion music? Accordion music and things you can do with honey. I gotta get my credit card out to buy this plugin. You do that. Magic Music Visuals for PC and Mac. One license was 43 or $42 or something. It's great. Polka. Polka accordion music, things you can do with honey. Polka. God, I got to study that again. I know what polka is, but I've never made it myself. And the hardest thing with that is trying to make polka with instruments that aren't uh, like your most conventional polka. Sounds like, like the accordion and things like that. It's going to be too hard. Something else with the Mac since the iPad is messed up. No, the iPad works. The iPad works. Don't 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 be worried. The, it works. It's cracked at the at the top up top but the whole thing works look 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 the picture is zoomed in and you can't you okay you can see the damage it's right up there and see how lucky i was it's up here and the edge of the glass is broken oh jesus is that getting worse oh shit oh shit it's definitely getting oh no am i gonna have to do something about this god that edge is worse now. Okay, but the whole screen works. Everything works on it. So I'm good. I'm good. There was even... I even had someone, a patron, offer me their older... Uh, their old... Um, it's not old. It's their, uh, They offered me a 2018 iPad Pro 12.9 inch because they heard about this damage. I told them, no, it's fine. It's working. Keep it. Keep it for yourself. You don't have to... I, it's the sweetest thing ever. You're already a patron. You don't need to do that. But thank you so much. If you're watching this, thank you so much for offering it to me. I, I, I couldn't believe it. I showed it to my girlfriend. I got, I, 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 got, I got tears in my eyes. That was so sweet. But it's okay. It works. I'm not going to, you know, do that. If I break this, then I'm going to have to find a way to solve it. And you don't need to solve that for me. But thank you so much for wanting to. That is so sweet. Let's talk about four pocket apps and the amazing developer, Max Quantum. You know, we can do all of it. Cyber Polka, do things with Honey, talk about four pockets operator. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm, we do that. We, we, Cyber Polka, Polka music, uh, accordion things. Uh, uh, honey and I'm, I'm typing it all down I'm typing it all down we're doing all of it now I gotta have to shut down the stream because my partner is cooking food I can yeah I can mm, taste the air and I want to thank you all for checking out the base thing and you know what I'll do a little short thing about th with this and put it up on Instagram please follow please follow me I sound I spit on here there's COVID on my screen now I'm just co I'm, I'm kidding I'm kidding I'm joking. Um, I'll put up this thing on Instagram. Follow me there if you have an Instagram. And if you don't, get one. Just film yourself doing some stuff with apps. Tag me. Follow me on Instagram. I love it when you follow me on Instagram. I, th I don't know if the links are under this video, but any other video on this channel, and you'll find the links to that, to, to the Instagram. Uh, you can find me there at Jakob Hack. You spell uh, Jakob Hack, J-A-K-O-B and then H-A-Q. I think there's like an underscore and then Jakob underscore Huck. Uh, you can find me over at Instagram. I'll put up a little short thing here tomorrow or something with this clip and that music and just say, say thank you for uh, thanks to everyone who joined the stream and then do a little clip also of the actual stream. I'll do that and uh, yeah, you, you'll see that and you'll know because you were there. Thank you for, so much for that. In the meantime, I'm going to shut down the stream. See, this is where I stand up and you realize that, hey, the dude is naked. Why is he sitting here with his, with his package all out in the open? I'm just kidding, of course. Or am I? Am I kidding now? You don't know. I could just stand up and jump and we'll see if I'm kidding or not. Huh? You want to risk that? 
You wanna you wanna risk that chat? Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, that's that's it. Ugh. So let me just show you real quick here. Let me show you real quick. Ugh. Come on now. Let's do that. And can I turn this around without messing up the stream? So there's the palette. Alright. There's the palette. I'm not doing the helicopter. Stop it. Stop it, Tony. And this palette is going to get four legs. And they ain't going to be Ikea legs. They're going to be some other legs. So four legs underneath. And then I'm going to put all my cool gear on here. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be so cool. And I love you for joining the stream. Now, I'm not going to troll you this time at all, actually. I'm just going to shut everything down. And be done. And I'm going to count down. And I'm counting down right now. Right now. Okay, I tried to troll you, but it doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> shit. Oh, come on. How do you shut this off? Like, is there a button on this thing? What? What's going on here? What? Is this... Is this on? What's happening? Is it? Is it? It's off now? No, it's not off. Okay, I, my trolling didn't work this time. I guess uh, I just found the button. Uh, I'm just gonna stop it now. See you next.